Hi everyone, this is Mohammed, and in this video, I'll show you another way for converting an animated PowerPoint presentation to an animated uh, PDF. Uh, in this video, I'll be using uh, Mr. David Brewin's uh, code who took the initiative and addressed many of the issues in the code used in the previous video and also uh, added some other nice features. Uh, Mr. Brewin is uh, a retired software engineer and lives currently in Manchester, UK. In this video, I'll be using uh, this PowerPoint presentation to show the method. Uh, the presentation is uh, very similar to the one used in the previous video with uh, some changes. For example, in uh, slide 2, um, I added this animated uh, paragraph with uh, bullet points. I also changed the background color for the uh, last slide to a darker one and I will mention why I did that in a few seconds. All right, so uh, let's get started. Uh, uh, first, uh, we will go to uh, uh, David's GitHub and uh, download the new conversion code. Uh, the link to this uh, page will be in the video description. Uh, so let's choose the repository uh, PowerPoint to the PDF. Uh, here you see the uh, the new code and actually uh, a description of, of how you can use it and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's go up here and then go to this green box with the word code in it. Uh, click there and choose download uh, zip. So I'll save this to my desktop for now. All right, so let's go to the downloaded file and extract it to desktop again. And we'll get the code in this folder. And this is basically the code we're going to use in this video. So now we will open um, a new PowerPoint presentation. We'll use this presentation just as a container for the downloaded code. Uh, so that we don't have to repeat these steps every time we want to convert our main presentation. So I'm going to remove this uh, slide because we don't need it actually. And then on the keyboard, uh, we will hit Alt and F11. So this will open up this uh, window. So now we'll start importing the downloaded code uh, from GitHub. So we need to navigate to where we downloaded the uh, GitHub files. Then we'll start importing the files. We'll start by .basic or .bas file, right? Then uh, the remaining of the files which have the extension CLS. File import. Great, then we will save. We actually are going to save this uh, uh, container as a PowerPoint macro enabled presentation or .pptm, right? And I'm just gonna give it the name conversion uh, macros, right? So I'm going to save this uh, again to the desktop, so that's fine, right? I'll close this window, but I leave my presentation open. So uh, the presentation with the extension .pptm contains actually my macros, and I leave this one open. And every time I want to convert uh, my main presentation, I will open this uh, .pptm file first. All right. So I'm just gonna minimize this for now. So that's our uh, uh, saved .pptm file. Right, so let's go back to our uh, main uh, presentation. So in this main presentation, we'll go to view, then macros, and then from this drop-down list, we'll choose the uh, PPTM file that we have open, um, if it's not already uh, selected, right? Okay, uh, so once you, when you select it, you will see the print to PDF, and that's the macro that runs inside this PPTM file, right? So click on uh, print to PDF, that's the macro that actually converts or helps us to convert our animated PowerPoint to animated PDF. Uh, 
so select it and then hit run now we will be prompted to uh, choose where we would like to have the slide number after the conversion uh, by this window uh, so you basically have five options uh, two letters for each corners for example BR uh, means that you uh, will have your slide numbers at the bottom right corner of each slide or the option N which means you don't want to have any slide number at all so for now let's choose uh, BR and then hit OK so what happened now is the original slides became hidden and a new slide is generated per each animation step. So I will click on no for now and cancel for this step to see what happened in details. So those are the, uh, sorry, those are the generated uh, slides. As you can see, the slide number, slide number here is uh, at the expected corner of the slide. And the slide number actually has uh, two sections. The first uh, number is the slide number, and the second number is the animation step within the slide. If we go to also slide number two for, for where we have the uh, animated paragraph with the bullet points, you will realize that we have a new slide for each uh, uh, bullet points. And this was actually an issue in the code used in the previous video and now is fixed in David's code. Uh, moreover, in slide number three, you will notice that the slide number color is changed to be visible uh, on this dark background and all is done automatically. Okay, so now we can simply go to file, then uh, save as and save this as a PDF like what we normally do so I'm just gonna give this the uh, give this file the name version 1 here and then hit save and this will go to my desktop okay uh, so going back to our uh, presentation uh, let's return it to its original format by hitting undo. So this ret will return our presentation to its uh, original format, basically. Right, so now I'll show you an alternative way provided by the new code to save the converted uh, presentation. Let's go again to uh, view, then macros, print to PDF, run as usual. Then we are prompted by... Uh, selecting the uh, slide number position. So I'll again choose uh, BR and then OK. All right, so uh, this time press yes for this question. Then choose the PDF file name. So let's save again to desktop and choose PDF file name and this time I'll choose V2. Once saved, uh, your PowerPoint slides will return to its original shape automatically without having to undo anything. Uh, this automatic conversion to PDF relies on Microsoft uh, uh, to PDF printer uh, you have on your computer. So you may want to check the printing settings first before you use this conversion method. And those printing uh, uh, settings can be found here. So choose print, then uh, Microsoft print to PDF. And then you choose printer properties and you choose the settings that you want to have for your uh, Microsoft print to PDF, right? Either way, you will get your PowerPoint presentation converted to PDF. Uh, one last thing I would like to mention here is that if you change your slide size to a white screen, so if you go to design, sorry, design slide size, and you change this to wide screen and run the macro again, so if you go to view, macros, and run it again, 
choose the slide number location br again let's say no for now and cancel so you will see that uh, uh, the slide number numbers will automatically be adjusted uh, to still appear at the correct corner of each slide and thanks to David's code for that all right so I guess that's it for me today uh, in the end I would like to thank Mr. Uh, Bruin for writing this new code and sharing it with us and thank you for watching